what bugs me? Bed bugs and their bites. The reason I'm doing this video is because I've been seeing a lot of crappy information on the internet. Part of that has to do with people's obsession with the formulation and the shape of bed bug bites. If you're too lazy and you don't want to watch the video, here's the down and dirty. It's pointless. It means nothing. Neither me nor a doctor can identify a bug by the bite on your body. Everybody reacts different. You could react different at different stages of your life, different health levels, blood pressures. There's even a study that says that bed bug bites can show up up to three years after they're gone. That's terrible. For years we read, oh, well, they bite in a line. Mm, yeah, I've seen it, but not very often. The reason they say this, that bed bugs bite in a line and you'll have a big line on your arm, is because of how they feed. Bed bugs will, they don't get on you and feed necessarily. They can, but they would rather walk up to you on the bed, stand on the bed and just, there you go. Suckle at your arm right there. Easy peasy, what a squeezy. And when they're done, they drop off and head back to their hole. So you can imagine if you're laying asleep with your arm sitting on the, on the bed and they walk up standing on the bed that they would bite in a line. And it does happen sometimes. The problem is... Most people, unless you're really dead tired and work as long hours as I do, you move around a lot. People move, they scratch, they, they roll over, they, you know, whatever, they get up to go to the bathroom. But even if you do see that line, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't identify it as a bed bug. All those bites, all any kind of bites tell you is, hey, I need to figure out what's going on. But you cannot look at a bite, and uh, there's a bunch of you right now going, oh, I can look at a bite and tell you if it's a mosquito or a chigger. Or... No, you can't. No, you can't. Unless you have a big hole in your leg and it's rotting, then it's a brown recluse, which aren't very common around here, by the way. Everybody says they are, but they're not in Tennessee. And the other one would be like a tick bite. Uh, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever with the ring ring around around the bite site. There's a couple indications like that, but between you know uh, a, an ant or or a bed bug or a mosquito, you ain't got a clue. You're gonna swear that you do, but I promise the promise you. You don't. And if you go to a doctor and he says, oh, well, that's a spider bite because it's got two little holes right next to each other. You need to fire his butt because he doesn't know what the heck he's talking about. Let him do the doctoring. Let me do the bugging. I don't claim to uh, know what you're sick from. I, You know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to cut you open and give you a new heart because that's not what I do. He doesn't do pest control. He needs to shut his mouth. The latest silliness, which I saw, saying that uh, the bed bugs bite in a zigzag pattern. Well, let's think about this for a minute. Because if you're laying on the bed, your arm's laying on the bed, and bite, 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 bite. Not only could they not show me a picture example of more than like three or just a cluster that you might be able to connect the dots and make a zigzag, Remember how I told you they feed, they walk up to you, and they feed. So even if they did, you rolled over a little bit, and they got you, another one got you higher, and then you rolled over this way, and another one got you there. It still doesn't tell you that it's a bed bug. You cannot go by the bites. If you've got a bunch of bites on you, you need to be getting an inspection and letting somebody who knows what the heck they're talking about look at it. Get off Facebook and talking to other idiots who have no clue what they're talking about. 
that's when you get people actually hurting themselves because Sally Jane and Susie Joe and Billy Bob, whatever, decides to get on Facebook and say, oh, well, I heard tea tree oil or, or put this on your skin or put that on your skin or spray the house down with that. Or I've got stories after stories of people hurting themselves, having to go to the doctor for real problems making the bug problem worse, hurting the dog, even killing the dog, hurting the cat, etc. Hurting the kids by doing stupid, over-the-counter, old wives' tales that some idiot told you on Facebook. Now, if you're really interested in why people just swear that these things work, there's an interesting article on my blog called Old Wives Tales, and that'll explain to you why they're all full of poo. So, bed bug bites, a lot of them look similar, but you can't tell, I can't tell, doctor can't tell, and the, whatever pattern they're in means absolutely nothing. Nothing. I've even, <laughs> I saw a, a top three pest control company in the country on their website. How to identify a bed bug? Said, oh, well, you see them in little zigzag patterns and straight lines. And, wow. Whoever's writing their stuff doesn't have a clue. And, uh, and, you know, not to toot my own horn, but that's why I'm running circles around these guys. Because they don't know what they're doing. They don't have a passion for it like I do. So, you want to know what bugs me? Bird bugs! But I love to kill them. You're killing me, Smalls! No me mores de mosquito Beneath my burrito No me mores de mosquito